Hi everyone, thanks for joining today. Previously I provided insights and steps to creating retention labels and retention label policies. You'll remember that I mentioned retention policies are a bit different and that's what we're going to be covering today. So not to add confusion, but within the information governance of Microsoft 365, you can have retention labels and retention la or policies. Uh, and retention label policies. A retention label policy is actually used to push retention labels to the locations they need to be utilized. A retention policy is different, however. A retention policy is actually closer to a retention label and then it provides retention features. But even a, policy, a retention policy is different than a retention label. The most significant difference between the retention labels and retention policies is a retention policy does not provide the record managers with the ability to apply a disposition review. A retention label provides record managers and administrators with the ability to review the content uh, before it's removed. However, if a retention policy is configured to delete content, the content will be removed without any sort of review. Like a retention label and label policy, a retention policy can only be applied to a top level container like a site collection. And here it differs in that a retention label is applied to a file one at a time. The retention policy is more of an umbrella approach. So think of it this way. You start out with a site collection and a number of libraries. You create a label, you create a policy around that label, and you push that label to the site with the policy. Now within the site, you can assign the label to each file individually. And now you have a retention controls on each of those files, but none of the others. A retention policy is different. Again, you have your site collection, and you create a policy, and you point it at your site collection. But the end result here is that every file now has that policy applied to it. And unlike a retention label or an automatically applied retention label, which we're going to cover in a future video, a retention policy cannot be granular. It's going to be applied to the entire site collection and every document within. So let's check out how to create the policy. So just like retention labels and label policies, we start out in the compliance center of the Microsoft 365 environment. Unlike the retention label and label policy, we are actually going to go into the information governance and not the record management page. Retention policies cannot be created from the record management control page. Since we're going to be creating a retention policy, we obviously want to do it from the retention policy tab. So click on that now. And again, because we're working in a new tenant, you'll notice that there aren't any policies, but normally you would see each retention policy that exists in your tenant. So to get started, let's click on new retention policy. Give the policy a name, and if you want to, a description. Next, select adaptive or static. Because we're going to define exactly where we want the policy to exist, we're going to select static. I will be demonstrating adaptive scopes in a future presentation, however. Click next to continue on. Another significant difference between retention label policies and retention policies is the selection of storage locations available. A retention label policy can be deployed to Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, and Microsoft 365 groups. A policy can be deployed to all of those and Skype messages if you still have Skype in your tenant, Exchange public folders, Teams channel messages and chats, and also private channel messages, not to mention Yammer messages. We're going to keep this demonstration simple and focus on SharePoint, but let me know in the comments if you want to branch out in future videos. This particular policy we want to limit to just a single location, so click on Edit in the SharePoint row in the Included column. Just like retention label policies, you have to type in the location directly. Do that now and place a check mark beside your site. Click Done and then click Next. We are now at the Retention Settings screen. You'll notice the options are very similar to the Retention Label screen, but you don't have as many options. Some of the items you are going to be missing include declaring the item as a record and requiring a disposition review. However, you are still able to specify retention timelines, permanent retention, and forced deletion. One thing I'd like to pause and discuss here is that I have worked with many organizations that have put a very long retention period over all of their content because they didn't want their information deleted and didn't have a retention schedule configured yet. They assumed that because users deleted the content and it was moved to a hidden library, it wouldn't count against their data quota. 
This is not the case. Even though the data is not visible to the user, it is still located within the site collection and thus the tenant, so it will still count towards your tenant storage, storage quota. We are going to create a short policy for our site. To do that, click on Retain Items for a Specific Period. Click on the Period drop-down and select Custom. I'm going to change the timeline to 3 days, so I'm going to zero out the years and increment the days to 3. Next, select the basis of the retention. Here again, you don't have the same number of options available to you as in a retention label. You can select when the document was created or when it was last modified. We'll base ours on when it was last modified. Finally, we have to declare what happens. We can do nothing, which just ensures content is maintained for a specified time and allows users to delete afterwards. Or we can delete the content automatically. This is what we're going to do here. And that's it for this page, so let's click Next. Finally, we have the summary page. Here you can review your configurations and make changes if necessary. One thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the red box at the bottom. What this is warning you about is that any data that exists within the locations you are pushing the retention policy to that are older than the retention schedule you set will be deleted once the policy is activated. So in our case, if our policy has any content older than three days, it will be deleted. Once you've completed your review, you can click Submit. Getting back to our retention policy dashboard, we can see that our policy is now listed. Clicking on it, we can see its deployment is pending. And through the magic of video editing, our policy is now deployed. The enabled success message is what we're looking for. Now let's check out how this works by going to our SharePoint site. You'll see that I've already created some content here. Let's click one of those files and delete it. Notice I do not receive an error message and my file has actually been deleted. This is quite a bit different than the results of deleting a file protected with a retention label. If we go into our site contents, we'll see that library I was talking about before called the preservation hold library exists now. If we click into the preservation hold library, we'll see our document. And this brings me to another item I'd like to mention about retention policies. I consider them a hidden control. This is because a user has full ability to remove the document from the library, OneDrive storage, or email, and unlike a retention label, the system will not stop them. However, the document is not moved to the recycle bin. Instead, it is moved to this library called the Preservation Hold Library that only site collection administrators can access. But even when stored there, the content cannot be deleted until the retention schedule is complete. Items that are deleted prior to their intended schedule are kept in this library. They don't show up in a standard SharePoint search, but they will show up in a content search for eDiscovery. And that's all I wanted to cover today around retention policies. Thanks for watching.